Hello, my name is Clarence Choi, and I am a specialist solution architect for Amazon Connect. In this video, I would like to talk about Amazon Connect forecasting, capacity planning, and scheduling. This feature uses machine learning to make it easy for contact center managers to predict incoming contact volume with high accuracy to determine ideal staffing levels and optimizing agent schedules to ensure you have the right amount of agents at the right time to avoid overspending or overrunning your workforce. It does so directly within Amazon Connect, our omnichannel cloud-based contact center. Historically, contact center managers spend considerable amount of time in configuring and maintaining workforce management system due to its complexity in procurement and integration. Customers would also like to leverage the benefits of the cloud like elasticity to scale up and down quickly. Consumption-based pricing, pay for only what you use. Customers has also told us the lack on accuracy in their current forecasting tools results in either understaffing that causes poor customer experience when service level target being missed, or overstaffing causing unnecessarily operation costs. This feature has three components, forecasting, capacity planning, and scheduling. Let me explain the purpose of each component, starting with forecasting. After enabling forecasting capacity planning scheduling feature, you can create a forecast group by adding multiple queues that has incoming data to forecast incoming contact volume and every channel time up to 18 months in daily granularity for long-term forecast and up to 18 weeks in 15 minutes interval for short-term forecast to help with business planning. It will take your historical data for voice and chat from your existing Amazon Connect instance for this computation. After you create your first long-term and short-term forecast, the system will automatically schedule to create a long-term forecast every seven days and short-term forecast daily from now on. You can then compare the latest computed forecast to previous published forecast and actual historical data to determine if we want to publish this forecast or override some of its value, then publish the forecast to be used for capacity planning and scheduling. Let's take a look at how long-term forecasted results help with capacity planning. Capacity planning is the component to help planners to generate plans for long-term resource needs like number of resources to hire and overtime budgeting. Let's take a look at some of the key features. Planners can create various what if scenario like service level of 70% of calls answered within 30 seconds or average answer rate of 20 seconds as a target to see how many full-time resources is required and how busy will they be in order to handle the forecasted incoming contact volume. Planners can add additional data like shrinkage to show gaps between required resources and available resources. Planners can also add rules like how much overtime is acceptable and how much voluntary time off are allowed to manage operating budget. Now that you know how many full-time resources you need, let's take a look at how to create a schedule for them. The scheduling component takes the short-term forecasted results to predict how many agents are needed in each shift which agent works on which slot, generating an efficient schedule to meet your service level target and comply to your workforce rules. Both the supervisor view and the agent view are integrated natively into Amazon Connect user interface. Schedulers create activities like breaks and lunch to be incorporated into shifts. Schedulers will then create staffing groups to assign different agents with their own workforce rules like maximum working hours per day and minimum working hours per week. This wraps up this demonstration of Amazon Connect's 
forecasting, capacity planning, and scheduling. For more information, please visit aws.amazon.com slash connect slash optimization or reach out to your AWS sales specialist.